something tells you that you've got to get away from it. I think that track is class. Kid British and Our House is Dadless, which is out this week. You can buy it this week. And if you like it, uh, feel free to go and get it because uh, they're really good lads, Kid British. And I saw them on Sunday night uh, as I was looking for my cab to get home. They were trying to get home and we bumped into each other on the street after Wembley after Take That and they loved it. Is that the first time you've seen them since the first meeting? No, I've met them. Uh, I've met a couple of them before. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, but all fine. And I said we should all go out. So there you are. Good. We should get them in, actually. They're nice, nice chaps. What? what? I, was, I was just going, are they? Yes, yeah, they, are yes, they? Alad. They are nice chaps. So, look, Alad is here, everybody. <laughs> He's got no gel in his hair today. So, no gel. Oh, Alad is here. 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 Alad uh, Regent's Park yeah, yesterday. So 2.8 miles you ran. Two, actually, I ran to the park as well, so would have done a little bit over three. Oh, well, well done. Yeah, so I had to break my seven Lady Gaga song rule Now, how, did, how long did that take you? Are you slower or faster in the rain? Because uh, I, I think I'm a little bit faster in the rain. I had a few stitches yesterday. And like you know, so you, and I don't want to stop. So you just slow right so down. So I just slow right down, and people look it. at me like, are you actually running? No, you're right. You do right. That's the worst thing when you're running. You feel like you're running in a park or something, and you can see some people walking ahead of you, especially if they're like an old couple, yeah. and it takes you ages to catch them. You know and what they're walking, thinking? and you're running, and you think, oh, this is not a good look. This little child even decided to sprint past me <laughs> to show how slow I was going. I'm like, this is not a competition. <laughs> if you're running in the rain, are you not heavier in the rain? Slightly. Because your clothes must be heavier. It's nice and cool. So how long did it take you? I actually, I think I did nine Lady Gaga songs, so probably about six minutes extra. That's all right. I was running to take that yesterday. I had a bit of a take that. No. Oh. The session on the treadmill. What, the live stuff or the, uh, no, the album? No, I just, I, I put on a load of, uh, I selected some individual tracks and I played them while I ran. Oh, very good. How does take that go when you're running? Is it all right? Is it? Oh, it's good. Yeah. Because what you do is, if you play, right, now you've, now you've got me really go geeky. Yeah. All right, now. If you want it, if you want a little tip, what you do is you put your playlist together and then you start running. Yeah. So if you start with Greatest Day, okay. Start with Greatest Day. Start with Greatest Day. So Greatest Day obviously starts off fairly slowish. Yeah. And it builds and builds. So what you can do is you can start off at a nice kind of steady plod and get faster and faster. Then you want to go from that into something like Shine, Hold Up a Light, something like that. Keeps your pace going. It's and still then quite <coughs> slow. What? Still quite slow, those, though. What? Shine. Let it shine. No, it's still fast enough. Okay. Uh, and then, what you do is, you want to work it out. So, like, your fourth, fifth song. Mm. So, you've done over a mile by this point. Mile and a quarter, mile and a half, depending on how fast you run. Then you can put something like the garden on. And then it, you bring it down. Just slow it down. Get your breathing back. And then as that builds, you can just start going up. And then you put another fast one in. And you get back to your proper running pace. So if you were to recommend Arr! one song for me to run to today, what would it be? One? One. Give me one. Well, on repeat. And I'll add it to my playlist. Well, it depends if you want to run fast or I'm you want to... Fast. Kind I've of fast one. Oh, put, um, put um, Prodigy on. Yeah, Omen. Prodigy, Prodigy Warriors Omen. Dance. Warriors, Dance. Warriors, Dance. Warriors Dance. If you put the mix of Warriors Dance on, there's a really good five and a half minute long mix of it, which is like... But it's mental. Okay. And you will knack yourself. That's okay. proper... That's like proper bump it up, 6.4 miles an hour, boom, you'll do half a mile. Should you swap these? Or any pendulum. Yep. I mm. used to run to the album, uh, Prodigy's album, so I know it's quite good, so I'll go for the mix of what I've done today. I'll yeah, do go that. for the mix. Go, and uh, in trade-off, I say Freemasons, the extended nine-minute mix with Sophie Ellis Baxter. That's really good because it slowly builds. See, now the extended mix of Calvin Harris, right, You're Not Alone, and Dizzy Rascal Bonkers, the full mix of that <gasps> oh, is, is very good. one? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. That's oh, that very will be good, good. good That will be good. And Ting Tings, that's not my name, full album version. Five and a half That's minutes. a really good one. You can get faster and faster. 
Do you know that you can download programs where um, it will kind of do your training course over a few weeks of kind of starting off at a certain BPM yeah. and then and it does interval training, yeah. Oh, that's really useful, good. isn't it? Yeah, really, really good. There's loads of them out there. I bought some training programs when I got a little bit giddy a few years ago, or the last year rather, and um, one of them is Serena Williams and she talks to you while music plays. Really? Really? Okay, 30 seconds, then we're going to really push it. Yeah. Isn't she a tennis player? Yeah. yeah. But she's oh. but still an athlete. She's still yeah, very suppose. fit. Would you call her an athlete? No, she's yeah. a massive athlete. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not a massive athlete. You know what I mean. She's a, she's a huge star. Do you want me to make no, that's you the, a little... That's the other Williams girl. We should make little tapes for each other. You can play my voice telling you to, you know... Well, no, I did it. I listened to you. Tell me to listen to Lady Gaga's album. So I did. I ran to Lady Gaga's album. And actually, the first four tracks are really good to run to because three of them are singles. Tell you what, I'll put my voice around it as well. So, Chris, keep the pace going. Step it up a bit. Do you know what? As an experiment, I would try that if you wanted I'll to. I'll record one for you. I'll, should we do it together? Yeah, no, not your voice. I'll, I'll go on, it'll be funny. No, Rachel, no offence. <laughs> That'll make you run faster so you hey, finish no, it. It'll make me chop my iPad out of the window. You could call it a <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yeah, there you go, perfect. For people who want to go running, you could do a special Chris Moore's podcast. Okay, keep going now. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep running, keep running. Keep going for that. Feel the burn. Right, Tedious Link. Last time was Adamski and Killer. Adamski sounds like he might be Russian, even though he's actually called Adam Tinley and is from the New Forest. The New Forest is like the opposite of an old forest, like Sherwood Forest, where Robin Hood used to play. Robin Hood has been played in a new movie by actor Russell Crowe, who used to be in Neighbours. Everybody needs good neighbours because next door is only a footstep away. Away in a manger is a classic Christmas carol and tells the story of the birth of baby Jesus. The baby Jesus was born in Bethlehem and his mum and dad were called Mary and Joseph. Joseph was a carpenter by trade, which means he was good at making stuff out of wood. Wood is what trees are made from, and the process of cutting down trees for wood is called logging, and is done by lumberjacks in places like Canada who tend to wear jeans and checkered shirts. Checkered shirts are a similar pattern to a checkered flag, which is used in motor racing to signal the end of the race. The race was a big hit years ago for Austrian electronica geeks Yellow, yeah. and yellow is the colour of sweet corn, which you might get served in the United States of America, along with stuff like grits and meatloaf and Black Eyed Peas oh, which like links loaf. us to Black Eyed Peas oh. and their classic from the Black Eyed Peas Where Is The Love oh, it's over here I got it right here Come show you the love Dave no thank you okay fine Alad yeah right then All right, oh talking of which are your shorts dry yet I'll let you know after right. the track